Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of VO Buzz Weekly. And uh, what's going on today, Stace? Oh, we are so excited. We have bilingual voice actor Sylvia Villagran. You hear her in network promos, movie trailers, commercials, and live announcing award shows, and yep. so much more. This has been years in the making, by the way, so we are so ready. Absolutely. Let's get buzz. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Our guest is a force in the English and Spanish markets in network promos, trailers, commercials, and live announcing for things like the MTV Music Awards, the Critics' Choice Awards, the Latin American Music Awards, and this year's Democratic National Convention. Wow. <laughs> this has been years in the making. She's finally here. We are so ready to get buzzed with the totally fabulous... Sylvia Villagran. Yay! Oh, we're so I happy. can't believe I, that you are sitting there right now. I can't and neither believe can you. I know. Okay, can I, can't. I tell? Can I tell? Yes. Okay, so from, the, the show oh premieres in 2012. <clears throat> okay, yes. so it's been a few minutes since we've been on. That's right crazy. out of the gate, we're like, Sylvia, we really want you to be on the show. She's like, <laughs> oh, oh. No. I cannot. I cannot be seen cannot, on video. I, I don't do oh on camera. God, I did not say that. I, I don't do I on camera. I don't want to do it. Like, I said, no, no, I cannot be on camera. She no. was being a diva. It was I very said, You must speak to my agent. <laughs> I, am I very wish busy. you had said that, but I you know, didn't. I know. No, I didn't. No, um, that is not what yeah. I said. So you felt a little insecure about yes. doing the on camera thing because you're so brilliant at everything you do, but you're used to being uh, yes. behind the scenes. I'm hidden. Yes. And you give me a script. And I'm and good. And you're fabulous, yes. yeah. I'm good, so, but then if I have to improvise. Mm, but imagine my <laughs> my joy and surprise when, when uh, what, six weeks ago, she messages me privately on Facebook and says, it's Let's time. Do it. it's time. I'm ready. I was like, woo! It's so, time. We were extremely yes. excited. Hey, wait a minute, somebody's calling Turn me. Turn off your <laughs> stuff. It's oh, your hey, brother. look, it's my brother, Sergio Hola. Duran. Sergio Duran. Oh, Sergio. what a trip. Sergio Duran. Um, um, uh, so thank you for being yes. here. Oh, thank you for yes. having me. But I think yes. everything yes. that's been going on with you lately, yeah. this is just like a great time yeah. that you're here. This Absolutely. is when you're supposed to be here. So. I think so. Yeah, I think we're so. very excited to have you. So thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, well, why don't you tell us all quickly, <laughs> okay. or not quickly, okay. how did you find your way into the whole voiceover industry? Um, Take us back. Okay, so I... You know, that's a really good question. I think I kind of fell into radio, as most people that do radio, unless you, you know, you, at, there was a time when I guess there were people who were like, I want to do radio. Yeah. I didn't even know that that was even an option for me. So uh, I fell into radio, and at the radio station, I met a man. His name was Bob Jeffries at KBOY Medford. And he said to me he, he, that he had come from Los Angeles, and he told me this urban legend of um, that there was this thing in L.A. that if you did a demo and then sent it to an agent, and the agent liked it, mm. and then they decided to represent you, they would send you auditions <gasps> for commercials. What? No. What is this you speak of? But wait, there's more. Okay. If you book the commercial they'll pay you and I was like wait a minute cut it out I'm like wait but they don't pay you <laughs> over and over again if the commercial keeps running no Do they well they that's <laughs> the other thing it continues to pay you this thing called residuals well, and not I was residue like, <laughs> not residuals. Residuals. Yes. residuals and I was like okay I'm there explain this to me because I want to I like this is fascinating yeah yeah because of course in radio you do them for free, right? Ah. So, um, so I said I'm going to do a demo, and and he said, okay, well. So I it, it took me a couple of days mm -hmm. for me to do like the commercial that I thought was like yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I showed up with the tape recorder. Yes. And I play it for Bob Jeffries. I'm like so proud. And at the end, this he was says, in the days of cassettes. Yes. yes. Cassettes, okay. and he says, "That sucked." <gasps> what? How do you really that feel, sucked. Bob? And um, that doesn't. No, there is no way that. And you know, I love that. That's one of the things I think that has made me really good. Yeah. Is I want direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want someone to give me 
straight up critique. Critique. Yeah. 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 I don't want someone who's going to go. Oh, that was great. That was good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. No, we got it. That was good. No, I want. And wanted... then after when you leave, they're like, "Did you hear that?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that that's one of the things. You know, when you're a voice actor, it makes you up your game when someone's straight up with you mm -hmm. and tells you. Um, N no, that yeah. you, you're yep. not you're not nailing it. So that's how it started for me. That's so cool. Um, and then so I moved so back what did to, you do after that? Well, I, I moved back mm -hmm. to Los Angeles because I got tired of making minimum wage mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and living, you know, with roommates. And yeah. so uh, <laughs> I moved back to Los Angeles and um, and I started working at a radio station here in Los Angeles. And I found an agent that a friend of mine represented and and I said do you think that he would represent me and he says well I'll put in the good word so I sent my my demo not to not that one that mm -hmm. he said sucked the commercial no new improved. this was the new and improved yeah. one okay yes. yes how long how long before after you did that one? Oh my lord was it years oh yeah I mean it was probably maybe not years maybe about I don't know, it was several months, and I took a lot of classes in the meantime. Like, I didn't want, the one thing that I do know, I, I didn't know about this business, but I know business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really, and, and business and savvy. Business yeah. savvy. Yeah. And in business, you don't get, you don't get another chance to make a first impression. Yes. And I can't mm -hmm. say that enough to people who are starting out. People think, oh, I'll just slap this together and send it out. It's like, yeah, that's don't bad. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, Tell them, don't do it. Don't. Yeah. Well, especially don't do now it. with things, you know, once they go online, I mean, they are there for eternity. Forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And so, um, and I didn't get one opinion. I got many opinions mm -hmm. from a lot of people. I wanted really hardcore, you know, direction. What am I doing wrong? Is there something that I... Is there something that I'm doing that's because everybody's got like a little thing that mm -hmm. they, yeah. you know, their their sort of uh, go to trick or right. whatever, and um, you know, and everyone that I went to that, and of course I went to like um, coworkers that I knew were doing very very well mm -hmm. and that I admired. So people in the industry though, right? Absolutely, okay, yeah. absolutely. Uh, not like you know my uncle Bob. <laughs> yeah, because he was going. Oh, you sound beautiful. So good. <laughs> you are so good, yeah. Sylvia. You're a star. Say all those big words. Yeah. Mikita, you're so good. Mom thought the yeah. first one you made was amazing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. But always in keeping with, okay, who are the really amazing people that I respect in the industry? Yeah. And, you know, I, I went to teachers. I went to coaches. Anyway, so I finally sent off my, my demo, and I got Bam. I got signed. Mm. Wow. Um, and then it, it was a few years before I actually you know, made a living at it because there's, you know, you know, there's tricks to it. Right. You don't just get signed and then all of a sudden you're working. It's mm -hmm. a yeah. long, mm -hmm. tough, complicated road, you know. Yeah. For That's so cool, man. How so, did you so survive? You, so hold on. You're not going to quit. Can we say that yeah, you're not no. going to quit She's now? You're no, in? No, you're I'm in. in, I'm in. Okay. I'm in, I'm in. How did you survive during those startup years? I worked in radio. Mm -hmm. I worked so. in radio. Ah, absolutely. What did you yeah. What did you do in radio? Um, well, I started here in morning radio. I was a producer um, and co-host. And then after I did that, I was fired because you know in radio everyone gets fired. <laughs> gets who in radio fired. doesn't get fired? If you're who not in radio fired, hasn't been fired. If you're not if fired, you're not you're not fired you're, you haven't been in radio yeah. long enough. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Sure. So I got fired, and then I got a job working as a. Um, a, like a casting ass assistant and a production assistant for some animation, mm -hmm. and um, uh, and then I got hired to be the weather girl at Channel Fifty Two. No, you did not. Telemundo Channel wow. Fifty Two. Wow. Yes. On. Yes. Like and weather girl on camera. On camera. That's what scarred you. It, that, no. That scar oh no. You? The, Is that what took you from the? <laughs> I have another another scarring. It was there was but there was there was scarring. Maybe there will be scarring in this, in this interview. Show. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there will be scarring. Okay. 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 So, but no, I did it, and they never had a weather. This was I was the first person that ever did weather there. Mm -hmm. So, um, after a few months, um, it. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was that happened. 
Uh, obviously, I wasn't cut out to be the weather girl. Did you not learn the states? <laughs> I was just like, yeah. it's going to be sunny today. <laughs> Sunny, like my oh, disposition. When they're showing rain. Oh no! Wait, I mean Hi. it's going to rain. No, oh my God! Bat down rain. the hatch is North Dakota. Exactly. Did you have a little that little thing that flipped through the, the, the little clicker? Yeah, I had the little clicker and the green screen and the oh whole my thing. My goodness gracious! So, um, so then I now am also doing some commercials. Like every once in a while, right? And and I have an I have an agent, and I continue to call my um, the guy who is my boss at the radio station, and I would call him. Oh, you know, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. He would never call me back. By the way, mm. I would leave him messages. He'd never call me. So every month or so, nice. I would call him and leave yeah. him a message. So uh, I called him and I said, I you know I'm I think I think they eliminated the weather for a time oh. or I don't even remember anyway so uh, he hired me back to do middays um, and I was there for probably I don't know a couple years and now my work is getting more and more this is mm -hmm. gonna get good isn't at it? the voice uh, in voiceover and um, and I'm really enjoying it but I notice that a lot of the people in radio aren't going out for auditions. They, they don't know about this world. So I'm like, I'm preaching. I'm like, you know, you guys, there's this thing. And I'm trying to like <laughs> preach Bob Jeffries. I'm like, <laughs> let me give back on what's out there. Yeah. And, and, you know, a couple of my colleagues, um, they were like, well, no, you know, it doesn't work like that. They, you know, I'm pretty big and so yeah. I do it for free I do it for yeah. free well no it's more like if they want me then they'll come find and me. find me yeah. and I was like okay well I'm gonna be in line waiting you know for them to pick me you know yeah, pick yeah, me. Yeah. I have no shame I'm like whatever I don't care so um so I just I started working more and more and that's kind of how it happened and I think that after a while um it just kind of became my main Mm -hmm. You know my main thing. So I really, awesome. I really enjoy. I enjoy voiceover a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. A, well, but your experience in radio, because you do so yes. much promo and obviously live announce, right. is so much about timing down to the second. I mean, it so is. clearly all of your radio background is a huge muscle that yeah. you have absolutely. from it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Hey, when you started doing the voiceover, were you, were mm -hmm. you concentrating, focusing more on? Uh, English or Spanish or both? Only Spanish. Only Spanish. Yeah, they would not read me for for general market. Wow. I was not allowed to audition because um, because of, because of my surname because mm. it was Silvia Villagran, and so at that time, the only real I guess um, <sighs> examples of a crossover, you know, uh, mm. actor or person was you know Charo. Yeah. Maria Conchita Alonso, mm -hmm. um, who else? Edward James Olmos. Mm -hmm. So um, it was always like, oh, I, I think, I think I hear an accent. I think she's got an accent. So, so I was never allowed to audition. I think I hear an accent. I think I hear an accent. I think there's an accent there. So I was never allowed to 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 See, audition. See now, if, if your name was Sylvia Williams. You know, it's like, yes. I don't hear an accent. Yeah. Well, there was a time that I changed my last name. You did? I did. Oh. I changed it so that I could then audition in English and book in English. And did it work? It did. It did, didn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. It did. Look at you that. You sneaky, sneaky you. So at what point did you feel that you were embraced in the general market? 1999. But who's counting, right? That was memorable. J-Lo, mm. Ricky Martin... Um, you know, Salma Hayek, then it was sexy and it was cool, right. and then it was the crossover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark Anthony, all of that. That was the mark for the famous crossover that now exists basically what, you, what, what happens now, which is, you know, um, uh, agencies cast bilingual. Right. Uh, yep. right. So everybody is looking for that bilingual talent. That did not exist, you mm -hmm. know, years ago. So now, now it's cool. 
Now I can switch my name back. Now yeah. I can right. still be a Villagran again. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and, it's uh, a sexy name, by the way. We don't. were just talking yeah, about that before you got here. Is that right? Everything about this. you is. Oh, You're so fabulous. Absolutely. Um, Which is the so, reason why I didn't want to come on this show to begin with. But she whatever. didn't want to be bombarded with all the... <laughs> with compliments. Oh, <laughs> the, sexiness. Um, the crossover that you have to bear. Yeah. Right? That's right. The so, crossover. I like that. Right? Very good, Stace. She's you. good like that. Um, so, <laughs> in working both Spanish and English markets now, yes. what's the difference in delivery between the Spanish side of voiceover, let's say commercials or even promos, mm -hmm. uh, the Spanish side versus the English side? Uh, you know, that's a good. That's a that's a really good question. I think um, it's um, there's definitely a difference. Uh, not just in the delivery, but also in the in the way you work. Yeah, mm. it's a completely different. It's like this parallel universes. Give us a little flavor of so, the universes. So, um, for instance, yeah. it start. It's sorry, I, I shouldn't. You could do ahead. that. We will clap for we'll you. Clap. Here. Hey, <laughs> where's my, where's my, the, my studio laugh. Laugh. the studio audience? The studio audience. My laugh track and my clap track. <laughs> um, so, I think that if if um, if you deal with the with the um, just going into the studio, the studio is different. Mm. There's a different feel to the way you're embraced and the way people talk to you. It's a lot more gregarious. Um, the you know the direction, the way the the director talks to you uh, when you talk. You know, if if, if it's a, a dialogue or there's other actors, of course, it's like lots of chatting mm -hmm. and lots of you know. Um, but I think. In terms of the delivery, uh, there was a time when it was the big, you know, esta noche, you know, right. that you hear, Dramatic, right? right? And all the yeah. women were like, and, you know, uh, Toyota, or, you know, whatever it yeah, was. Like super or, sexy, you know, yeah. yeah, it had to be super, super sexy. Whereas now I think it's sort of catching up It's in, in terms That's of the delivery. That's what I was going to so ask So like that you, real yeah. conversational non-announcer yes. that you get in the general market. Yes. It's it getting there. It's right. getting there. It's but it still, still has to have the spice. Yeah, Absolutely. because I listen I to mean, some some commercials in Spanish, yeah. and I'm always like, "Wow, you know, it's yeah. like I want to buy it. Like, I want to have it." Some of the yeah. some of the the announcers that are going like yeah. way out of yeah, control, right. and then you hear stuff like, "Oh, now that's normal too." So they almost do yeah. both still. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's sort of in that yeah. in between. It's in that in between. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in another you know it will. in another couple of years. I think it'll probably. Do you catch ever up. find yourself going, "Oops, I'm in the wrong market," and maybe like when you're auditioning? Do you ever go like, no. oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a take. I'm gonna give him a take like this, and I'm gonna. Give no, no, I've actually, um, you know, I, I have a completely different persona, mm -hmm. you know, that I have to, that I have, that I've created over the years that I yeah. pull out for, you know, that I have to be like the very professional, yes. and very just, you know, so people don't know what I'm really like. Mm. In both markets, or just one? No, no. Are you playing just, with me? No. With us? You're playing with them. <laughs> They I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. No, I'm. You know, I. I think that the really great thing about about this job is that I get to be who I am. Yeah. I. You know, that's what's yeah. really fantastic about. I love. I love this work. I get to work with really nice people, um, even people who are. You know. Um, who who are not talent? Who are the engineers? The people who are the clients? The copywriters? The producers? Everybody's super nice, and I think that one of the things that I love about it so much is that I get to be a spoke in the wheel. Yeah. Now I don't feel like it's about me. It's about yes, we know you being don't like that. A <laughs> <laughs> so loud and clear, five and a half years. I like the whole team thing. Yes. Yeah. I like being yes. part of a team and like I'm solving a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm there to solve the client's problem. Yeah. What you know, or the copywriter's problem, or the director's problem, or even even the engineer's problem. You know? Yep. Okay, when you're reading this, I'm getting X, Y, and Z. Okay. I can I can fix that. I can figure that out. You know, I love that. That's yeah, that's, that's cool. one of the that's yeah, it's one really, of the fun really things cool. about my job that I enjoy. Yeah. Wow. Getting in there and fixing things. She's the fixer. I'm the. That's I'm the what fixer. she's known as is the fixer. <laughs> so for those people that are watching mm -hmm. who are bilingual, yes. Um, do you have any advice? Do they need to? Is it better to start in the general market? 
is it better to start in the Spanish market? Mm -hmm. Any advice for people that, that could cross over well? Right. Um, I'm going to tell them the same thing that I think I would tell anybody, and that's take a lot of classes. Mm -hmm. Take a lot of classes from a lot of different people. Take group classes. Take private classes. Take, you know, from five, six, seven different people. Because I think the mistake that people make is that they get settled in yeah. to a particular read or a particular sound, and then they're done. Mm -hmm. um, if you're bilingual and you're wanting, you know, if you're, let's say that, Spanish is your first language and you want to do the crossover, you have to be really honest with yourself and you have to make sure that you really do, you know, what is it that you're offering in that, in the general market. Mm -hmm. There are sometimes when, if you are, um, if you have like an amazing accent, it can work for you. Um, you know, Anthony Mendez is a perfect example yes. on how yeah. he utilized that mm -hmm. for Jane the Virgin. I have colleagues who are able to do like HBO boxing, you know, after dark, or they can do Showtime, or they can do WWE, and it works fantastic for that. Mm -hmm. um, but then you also have to be really honest with yourself, and you have to be open to people's direction and people's advice, uh, and make it safe for them to say, that's not going to work. You're going right. to have to change X, Y, right. and Z. Because people right. are not going to tell you, you know what, Chuck, you're good, except that... What? That... <laughs> How dare you? That promo... <laughs> not no. happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so you have to, as a talent, you have to make that safe to open yourself up to people and say, okay, be honest with me. Does that promo really sound like it could be on the air? Am I, do I sound good enough right. to, you know, to take that next step? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, like I, like I said, one of the things that I did was I found people who I respected. Yeah, your team, you have trustees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. that's, absolutely. That's really cool. That's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, Constructive feedback okay, is So, key. but... But, Here's the question, though. But if I've had all the training in the world, okay, and I'm really, really great at voiceover, okay, and I understand the Spanish market, and I can read a Spanish commercial, man, like nobody else's business, okay, is that the same? It is um, now. Or English, yes. And I wanted to break into voiceover now. I wanted to make okay. my demo. Okay. Should I? You, what would you recommend? Well, you've got to go to you've got to go to Spanish? demos. The rock. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. That's a nice. I just your paid advertisement. <laughs> I'll give you 20 bucks later. No, but should I do a commercial demo first? I mean, a, 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 a Spanish or try to break into the English market first? What, well, what's your what's your main language? If your main language is Spanish, then definitely go with where your bread is buttered, which is do a Spanish demo and then work on your general market. Um, okay. I don't think there's any real right way of doing it. You know, everybody's different. I mean, for me, um, I started in Spanish and I did I had my commercial demo and that's all I had yeah um, and then I moved to doing the the English commercial demo which was a lot more difficult yeah. for me um, because I I didn't have the experience. I had been auditioning only in Spanish only in Spanish only mm -hmm. in Spanish right. so I had to take double you know, classes and coaching and yeah. things in English in order to get my demo to match. What was you know, happening. What was happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would even say to people who are um, looking to, let's say you have a really great career and you want to expand, I think it's really important to always push yourself. Yeah. Always push yourself. I mean, just recently I saw that you had had Joe Cipriano on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have, there's very, very successful voiceover people who are still pushing themselves and yeah. expanding. Yeah. I think that that's the, the fallacy is that, well, I, yeah. I made it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done and, you know, and, and you can't, you can't buy into that hype. Because exactly. that's not, that's not real. Yeah. Right. Right. That's not real. Yeah. The real the, the the part that's real is the hard work. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hard work that mm -hmm. goes into doing what we do. I mean, if you want to have a really fun sort of a side job and um, a hobby, then sure. Yeah. It's going to cost you money, though, because hobbies cost yeah. money. 
That's true. But, you're sta- <laughs> but, your, but your expectations and the stakes are different. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you, you can dabble in it. And, and, and exactly. you know, I mean, I love to cook and bake. It doesn't mean I'm going to have a restaurant. Exactly. You, know, you can do it and still exactly. fill a need. I think it's important to define yes. what, you're, what you want to get from it. So if you want a career in it, then it's a whole other mindset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you've got to be, and as a bilingual talent, in my humble opinion, um, you have to work... I know that you hear this all the time. You have to work twice as hard for, you know, to even be acknowledged as being good. And on top of it... Why is that? Because I think that there is a... You know, I mean, for me, it was the the crossover took years. Yeah. It Mm -hmm. took years. And then on top of it, being a woman, that's another thing. You know, being a woman is... It, you don't have the same opportunities in promo, in trailer. Yes, Chuck. That, yeah. that men have. I, Chuck. I, listen, if I was in it's charge changing. of that, I would turn changing, that around but, today. But I can imagine that there, you felt like there was a stigma. Of course, for, for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's it's cha- again, it's changing. And so in having all that change, um, you got to be ready. Yeah. So you can't have that, like, be a monkey on your back going... Oh, you know, I'm, I'm not being read for this, and you know, I'm being excluded from that. You can't, you can't go there. You just always have to work and prepare because one day that door is going to be open, and guess who's going to be standing in line? Mm-hmm. Moi, moi. <laughs> She's like, oh, and that's it. I've yeah. been here. Yeah. No, uh, you have to be, be like, ready. Who, you me? have to be ready. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I think that that's really that's the only reason. It's like I've la- I've I've been here doing it over and over, and I've just been kind of getting ready. So where do you think your business acumen came from? Was it from your family? From Definitely. Your mm-hmm. Definitely. My mom, my mom was very business savvy. Well, so was my dad. Um, and so I got, and I, and I grew up in the business because my, my father worked for a Mexican uh, movie distribution, a distributing company uh, here in Hollywood. And so I got a chance to see, you know, how the behind the scenes work. Yeah, and yeah. I was around directors and producers and actors and I got to see um, I got to see kind of where where people would go wrong. Like mm. where the actors would go wrong. Yeah, you learn a lot from that. Yeah. 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 And I thought, wow, okay, so you know, there's things that you can control which is, you know, within my within my hula hoop. But then there's other things you have no control over, and you can't allow those things. That's why I was saying, you can't sit there and go, oh, I wasn't given the opportunity. Right. Right. Oh, you know, because I'm this and because I'm that, because I'm a woman, because I'm Latina. You, you, you can't, because then you, you drive yourself crazy. Right. But what I do have control over is how good I can be and how directable I can be mm-hmm. and how... Um, if I can sit there and translate a copy, you know, I can sit there and figure out, okay, what is it that the client is trying to convey in this copy? What is it that um, is going to give me a hard time here? Um, what is it that the engineer is going to need from me? You know, and that reading people in the room, mm-hmm. you know, how to get, that's the other thing, you gotta be a little bit of a psychologist. Totally. You oh, know? absolutely. And yeah. know kind of like what the flavor yeah. is and yeah. mm-hmm. what to serve. Yeah, yeah. I love that, that's absolutely true. You know, there's so many people who are so talented in this business and they don't work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so people think, I have a great voice and so yeah. here's my demo and I'm great and it just doesn't, doesn't work that way. No. Yeah, I don't even know. The, the more I live, the more I think. Like, I don't even think talent is top three anymore. No, I no, it's, it's not. It's not. No, There's it's so not. There's so many other things that are really yes. like because what? What do you think is the most? Equal, what, are you, what do you think are some of the mm-hmm. most important qualities for to be successful in this business? I think. I think number one, um, you have to be nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just just break it down. Yeah, because yes. because the, the top, some of the top yeah. of the top are some of the yes. nicest people yeah. you ever meet. Most yes, so, yeah. kind, yes. Yeah. you have to be nice. I think number one, nice. Nice. I, agree. I think second of all, you got to have a really good work ethic. That's second. 
So nice first, second, hard work ethic. worker. Yeah. Hard worker. Yeah. Willing to go the extra mile. One hundred percent. Twice over. The yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I think third is talent. Yeah. Yeah. But and let's not cut talent short. You okay. gotta be talented. Of right, course. Right. Of course. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I can be super talented, but if I'm gonna, you know, walk in and You're a beast. If you don't have one and two, <laughs> nothing's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Well and so many I mean I, what, I want to talk about live announce too, but I mean, so mm. many, uh, my sense of that world, I don't live in that world, yeah. um, is that so much of the reason why you are brought back, you know, 2013, 2014, 2013, so mm. much of that is because, yes, you're great, Thank but you, you are nice and you are Thank a joy you. to work with and you're a collaborator. And it seems like in the world of live announce especially, yeah. that because the pace and the demand and there, there is no take back as if it's not taped. Yes. That Correct. you have to be able to deliver, and they have to mm -hmm. have that confidence. Absolutely. But that team is depending on the energy of it yes. being positive, yes. and everyone's going for the same goal. So, mm -hmm. for live announce, I mean, how do you get those gigs? Is it really? Um, well, my very first live announce was in 2002, mm -hmm. and, and you weren't and nervous at all, right? Oh my God, I was completely <laughs> freaked out, completely. Um, it was for the MTV VMAs Latin America. Wow. And so I was flown to Miami and, um, and it was, I had never, I, I, you know, I had never done anything like that. Mm. And um, the, the, um, the entire show was in Spanish, obviously. And it was, it just reminded me of radio. Yeah. It was exactly right. what it was. Right. And there is that sense of you are on a tightrope without a net and you open up that mic and you can't do it over and it's it's not like radio in that you don't get to laugh it off and ha ha and make a joke or improvise mm. right like you do in radio mm. see radio is very forgiving in that way you open the mic and you can just you know laugh it off or whatever yeah. you can yeah. fold it into My the show bad. oops exactly <laughs> yeah you can't do that on, on an award show or a you know political show yeah. you you've got to be perfect be perfect mm -hmm. and sometimes there's no script sometimes there's crash copy sometimes people are in your ear you what's know, crash your copy what's that? crash copy is when um usually it's like an alternate because let's say that somebody is not they're going to kill a bump a bumper that's going out you know coming up next so they're gonna they're gonna cut it let's say it's a paragraph and they don't have time mm. they're running late so they're going to say, you know, cut, Realize cut, it, yeah. cut the second sentence. You're just going to go with the one sentence. Or somebody doesn't show up. You know, kill this person. Go with the, you know, that's the, or kill, kill it all together. Or uh, add, ooh, add, mm. add, and make it faster because there's only X <laughs> amount of time. No, they don't do that. Of course. Yeah, they do. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, they do. They do. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that that live announce is. Did you? Okay. So hold on. On that okay. show, that your first show <laughs> yes. ever. Any flubs at all? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So th I'll tell you. I'll tell but you they don't haunt you or anything, do they? <laughs> She's like, I remember exactly what had happened. I remember exactly what happened. Mm. It was not during the show, though. It was at the very end. The very end. Yeah. Um, the the producer comes in. She's like, "Oh my God, it was a great show." The hosts are now the show's over, and now they're like announcing, you know, everybody. And um, I don't know what I did. To, I think I thanked I thanked the producer with the talk back button, but I think I when I was done, I pressed the microphone button and I left it on, and there was feedback. So it was like. And everybody's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oops. And I look down and I see the red button. It's like, what's that ah! over there? What's that over there? Uh, look well, at the shiny they didn't over know what, was, what the problem yeah, was. No. But and now thank God they it do. was yeah, not yeah. Right. on air. Well, oh, in, in the but, world of what yes. could have gone but wrong, while you were on air, nice. Sylvia was perfect. Wasn't she? I was actually. I you, was. Are, you are always flawless. You really are. I mean, there's, thank you know, you find sometimes it's just, it just feels like this is part of 
your cells. Like this is part of who you are. I mean, because you're you have such a thank you a natural mama. mama. You do, mama. Mamita linda. Mamita linda. <laughs> no, you know what? It's it is. It's a really fun thing to do. I really enjoy it. It's one of the things that I, um, you know, it's kind of like a little. Um, it's it's always a, a little bit of a what's the word? That feeling of okay, I could really mess this up, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So there's a little bit of danger right. attached oh, yeah. to right. it. You like that. You're right. a thrill seeker? In my real life, I'm not. <laughs> but this is this is kind of like my little thrill seeking. It's yeah. like, nice. This is my emotional bungee jumping. Nice. <laughs> but obviously you can't be in your head. I love no. so, Oh my lord, So no, do you have no. a, a ritual of preparation? Yes. What is it? She's yes. like, Yes, I have like a whole thing that I mm. do because when I get nervous, I get very cold. Mm -hmm. And so I usually take a heating a heating pad. Don't judge me. Well, you're not being so judged. So you need an extension cord where you're sitting. Need, there's usually lots of cords, yes. but I have a heating pad so that I'm like, I have it on nice. high. And then um, I usually do like, I do, I try to do jump, like some jumping and, you know, running around in my, you know, in the area. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of stretching. I do yoga. So that kind of sense. In front of me. everybody, you do yoga, like you're like. No, doing... usually I'm off by myself. Oh, no, oh. no. Okay, <laughs> like, good. In, like on the side of the. She does a group I was gonna say, stretching. Not gonna say that for like... the audience. <laughs> like who's the crazy? Yeah, who's the crazy lady over there with the microphone? She does audience warm up. <laughs> yeah. No. So it's it's you know there's like a whole thing that I do yeah. because it it is very it is very stressful. Yeah. To you know to. I don't know what everybody else does, you right. know, but for me, that's that's what I well, do. Well, I mean, and stress has physical manifestations. Yes. So the fact that you keep your actual totally, totally. body yes. loose yeah. and, you know, open. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But yeah. you're probably one of those people that once you start, that's it. Then you're I'm like, good. You're yeah. on. Yeah. And you're good, yeah. yeah. I'm good. That's I have, cool. like, a whole, you know, and then it's the way I mark my copy. I make sure that, like, at where the period is, I mark it so that I respect the periods, because the periods, the, the the commas and the periods are there, they're your friend, yeah. mm -hmm. because you get to pause and take a breath, and you start over, so that you just go line by line, so you don't think of the whole thing, it's just right. a little mm -hmm. piece at a time, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, so. Do you listen back to your work, or do you kind of go, no? No, of course I do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm like oh, I'm so horrible with myself. Like I'm always. Well, you can't change it. But no, but no, I, but I, I mean sometimes. But I'm a, I'm my own yeah, worst just critic. To learn like from I any always, little, always yeah. I'm I'm I always listen back and I go, okay, what could I have done different? Okay, I hear that I'm doing this thing. Okay, that worked really well. That I have to, you Get know. Rid of, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right on, yeah. Sylvia. You are. She's a worker bee. Rock star Love girl. that about you. Wow, Sylvia Villagran. Doesn't that sound prestigious? It does. What she an amazing girl. Just an exquisite human being Absolutely. in every way. Wow. We hope you guys enjoyed part one. We're going to be back next week with part two. Don't miss it. Yes, we are. And keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to click the logo. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. And just remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always.